So it was the summer of 1997, my last summer while still in rabbinical school, studying in Israel. I was invited to teach at a Galilee retreat from the emerging Jewish spiritual community there, where the altitude is high, and you don't need extra substances to get that state. The subject was love. I suggested Saturday night after Abdallah, why don't we break into men and women's circles and just have a little time with each other. The women thought that was a great idea and organized immediately. The men said, oh, here's another one of those American dudes, even though I was Canadian, American dudes coming here. It's going to want us to hug each other and ask us to cry. <laughs> I said, no. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. I just want us to get together as Israeli Jewish and Let's just hang out and see what happens. But I'm going to ask you one question. So the one question I asked at the beginning of the evening was, what are you most proud of as an Israeli man? That's the only thing I said that night. Three hours later, the conversation was over. One by one, 40 men came forward, taking the talking stick that they had created spontaneously. By the second man, he was crying on the shoulder of his friend. By the third, everyone was hugging each other. <laughs> One man remained in the shadows, his dreadlocks falling over his face. Son of a Yemenite priest and rabbi, having immigrated to the new state of Israel. Bush sat in the shadows, not a man of many words. He came forth, the last man, with his guitar. His response was the song that he offered, the song that he had just written, and his hope. That's what he was most proud of. <laughs> Yeah. 